Welcome back to Old School Blues Guitar. It is time for the classic song breakdown, the blues song breakdown for the months of January through March slash April 2019. And by request, we're going to take a look at an instrumental called the Aces Shuffle by the Aces, which was a Chicago group made up primarily of the Myers brothers, Lewis and David Myers. Now, as I break this down, I'm not going to do this verse by verse. There are certain parts of this where I just can't hear specifically what one guitar or the other is doing. The parts run together in many places, and sometimes I can pick it out, sometimes I can't. Maybe you'll have better luck with this. But what I'm going to do instead is try to pick out what I think are the, the coolest licks and try to explain the overview of the song, what's going on, and as much as I can. This was requested by one of my subscribers, and it's a great, a great tune. So let's, let's get started. Aces Shuffle is in the key of E, and when you play this, there's a rhythm guitar and the fills. The rhythm guitar is playing primarily a, a typical Chicago blues shuffle in E. I can hear it throughout much of the song, but there's parts where it just kind of disappears and I can't tell exactly what he's doing. So in this first lesson, I'm going to show you the rhythm part. So if you're doing this tune and you're lucky enough to have two guitar players who are willing to work together, this is a really cool song. So in E, we're playing this E shuffle. It's up tempo. what's going on throughout much of the song. So if you don't know how to how to play the basic E shuffle, got my first finger on the second fret of the fifth string with the open sixth string. I'm using my right hand palm and I'm setting it gently on the strings down by the bridge so I get a muffled effect. And if you listen to the recording that the Aces did in the early mid 60s then you'll hear this. And then I'm just taking the pick and I'm getting this open sixth and the, the fifth string and I'm taking my ring finger moving it to the fourth fret and then sliding to the fifth fret and back and then when I play over the four or the A chord I just take that finger first finger move it over one fret and do the same thing this time with my first finger or my ring finger on the fourth string, going to the fourth fret and the fifth fret and back. Now when it gets to the five, this is where I have trouble hearing exactly what's going on. And if you're playing this, the easiest way to do it, I think, if I were playing this, would be to play a straight five, four, one, B to A, back to E, just playing the same shuffle lick. When you get to the B, you can do this with your first finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string and the open fifth string. It's a little weird, but that's how, uh, that's how Jimmy Reed's recordings, whether it was, I think it was Eddie Taylor playing this on Jimmy Reed's recordings, that's where, how he did it. You've got this. And what I'm doing here is going to the fifth fret and the sixth fret with my second and third fingers on the fifth string but I'm still keeping that first finger at the fourth fret on the fourth string. And then, taking my pinky to the seventh fret of the fourth string. And that's what I'm playing over the five. And then when it goes to the A or the four, same thing. You could do that, or you could just play that same back to the one. Now there's other times in the song where I think he's doing these little bass runs. Something like that. Like you'd hear on a Jimmy Reed record. And you can listen to it and see what you're doing. For now, I just stick with the simple, the simple, simplest way. So if you're working on the rhythm part, this is something you'll really have to study the record to hear if you want to play exactly what he's playing. Right here, he can also do this. Instead of going to that 5-6 on the 5th string, you can just play something like that, where you're just going between the 4th and the 6th string with the open 5th. You've 
You can do that again uh, over the four. And then back to the one. Now it's right there in the rhythm part where he inserts the turnaround. And we're going to take a look at the turnarounds in a separate, in a separate lesson. Let me play one verse of what I think is a, a rhythm that you could play behind Asa's shuffle. And for the most part, this is what's being played on the recording. But again, when he gets over the five and the four, there's some variations. Also, sometimes I hear him doing this lead in. And that's just an open fourth string, one, two. And then back to the E. You can also do that on the fifth string. listen to the recording and see what you can come up with. So here's a verse of the rhythm part behind Asa's Shuffle. turnaround here in a, in a different lesson. So there's the first part of Asa's Shuffle. Now we're going to move on to the chords and the chord riffs.